So what I'd like you to do is um, download or at least pull up and look at the book, Dr. Jen, level E. I've posted it on our Blackboard. I want you to read through it and I want you to think about how you would plan the book introduction. What would be your gist statement? Where would you talk about vocabulary if you think we need to? And at what point would you do at least two predict and locates? Now, book introduction, like every other part of this lesson, would be so much easier if you knew your students and you know what they know. That's the purpose of doing those pre-assessment guided reading reports. We're kind of working in the dark. It will be much easier when you actually have a group of students in mind and you know what they know about sight words and phonics features. But for now, could you plan a book introduction for this level E text, Dr. Jen? Pause the video. Think about how you would do it, write it down, and then I'll show you what I'm thinking. Okay, here is my plan for the book introduction. I'm going to talk about Dr. Jen is a family doctor and what does that mean, and that'll give me a chance to talk about the family members that are part of this text. And I'm going to add that every time someone's sick, they take him or they take her to Dr. Jen, which gives that little bit of a pattern there's in the text. Um, and then I'm just going to open it up with let's see who's sick. And then I have two predict and locates. So it sounds something like this. Dr. Jen. This book is Dr. Jen. We're going to read all about Dr. Jen. And she is a family doctor. Do you guys know what a family doctor is? Well, family doctor is a doctor who can treat any member of your family. From your grandmother, to your grandfather, to your mom, to your little brother. Anybody. So let's read to find out. Who is not feeling well? Every time they get sick, um, the family will take whoever it is to Dr. Jen. There she is. So here we have sister. Yep. I wonder what's wrong with her. And then we have, oh, here's father. Oh, I think he might have, what might he have? Yep. We're going to take him to Dr. Jen. Oh, and here's grandfather. He looks like he's going to go to Dr. Jen. There she is. Oh, let's see. Oh, over here. This is Mother. Um, and the doctor is looking. Where is she looking? In her mouth, yeah. Um, she most probably has a sore throat. What would you expect to see at the beginning of the word sore? Okay, you find it. Oops. Sore. Sore throat. Good. And we've got Grandpa. Oh my goodness, there's Grandfather. Looks like he's got a problem here. And then, oh, there's Grandmother. Look at Dr. Jen. She's looking in her, in her ear. What would you expect to see at the beginning of the word earache? Earache. Okay, E, there it is. You read it, earache. It's a big long word, earache. And everybody in the family goes to see Dr. Jen. She can help make them feel better. So we're going to do a read. And when you read, you'll point and read. And if you're not reading with me, I'd like you to whisper read. So that is how I would do a book introduction for Dr. Jen Level E. Again, I don't have to worry about so many parts of the book because at this point, kids wouldn't be reading a text level E unless they could do quite a bit of good decoding work. Also, I want to leave some decoding work for them actually to do with me. I do not want to introduce the book so well that they don't make any mistakes. It's when kids make mistakes that I get a chance to coach them into better reading behavior. So you got to make sure that your book introduction isn't too supportive. 